Hey everyone, so today I'm looking at this HP laptop. Uh, this HP laptop is uh, 14M-CD0001DX and it has an issue, which is that when you try turning it on, you get a message, I don't know if you can see that right there, but the message essentially says that the smart hard drive check has detected an imminent failure and uh, there's a failure on hard disk one. Now I've gone through the troubleshooting that HP provides to try to see what the problem is, and eventually it just says that the hard drive has failed. So for some reason, uh, this is not very old, it's only like two years old, but the hard drive died on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up and change the hard drive. I think this has a spinning uh, 5400 RPM hard drive, it's 500 gigs. So what I did is I bought a new hard drive, picked this up at Best Buy, it's a 500 gig PNY, it was I believe around $51 for it, and uh, I will replace what's in here with, with this one. So let's unplug the, compete, the laptop here, and let's put on a wristband here for any static that I have in my body, so let's put this on. Make sure the metal piece is down here, and then this is attached to some type of metal. And we'll turn this around. Now the computer, let me first check and see if it's off. And it's currently on, so I'm going to press the power button and hold it until it turns off. So there's lights here on this side, so that's what I'm checking for. And I'm pressing it. Let's see, let's open it up here. Let's see what the screen says screen is on so let's press okay so there it turned off the screen turned off the light turned off so we should be ready to go so let's turn it around now these have screws here in the front there's one two three tiny phillips uh, screws there and then what's unfortunate here is you have to take these pads off which i don't like because usually they don't stick as well the next time you put them on but it looks like there's a screw underneath here. So you can see the, where the hole is right here. Um, so let's take these off. Now since this hard drive died, um, and I checked with the person that gave it to me and they don't need any of the data, so we're just putting the new one and installing Windows on it. And, uh, and then there is one more screw that we have to look at, which is right under this. So we gotta figure out how to take this piece off too. Okay, so there's the screw. It's actually, this big one is a screw there. So it looks like maybe just the back ones are the only ones that have a screw, not the front ones. So let's peel this off here. Hopefully this, these little legs will stick afterwards, but let's say, let's go to there. All right, so there we are. And let's see if we can take this one off with these tweezers. There we go. So I kind of scratched it a bit, but here it is. It's basically just an adhesive little plastic piece that goes on top of that hole. I don't know really why they do that, but there it is. Okay. So now let's open, uh, take off the screws. So it looks like we need a pretty big Phillips here for these. So there I think I have all the screws that should come out. So now let's use one of these tools here that I have to see if I can pry it off. So let's go around here. Oh, there we go. And usually you just put it in here and you just turn it a little bit and it should snap off. Looks like that, that piece snapped off there. Let's go over here. Okay, let me go over here. Uh, 
All right. So seems like it's coming off, and there it came off. So not too hard. Unfortunately, there is that scratch. Thumbs me out, but okay. Uh, so this looks like it's in good shape. Not too much dust. Again, uh, this computer was not used that much. It's kind of odd that the hard drive went out. So here's the hard drive. So we can see here's the cooling fan for the CPU that's over here. Here's the battery right there. And um, here's the hard drive. And right next to it, there's space to put an NVMe hard drive instead. Okay, so it looks like this doesn't have any screws on it around it. You can essentially pull this up because I wiggled it around and I pulled on this and then it is loose here. Now before we completely take out this off, let's uh, detach the hard drive here. So this ribbon here, using a small screwdriver, you can push, pull up, I guess, or move this up and that'll release the ribbon here and then this will just come out. So now that we did that, now we got to figure out how to remove, unplug the hard drive. And it is a spinning Western Digital 500 gig that died. So let's see if we can just pull this out and see if this comes off. Figured out the easiest way to get this out is here where this line is. You can put a little screwdriver in there and then just kind of turn it a little bit and it should snap out. And there it's now that it's loose, now I should be able to pull it. So it's really tight. So let's pull it off. And now this is attached to the tape here. So slowly do that. Now when you pull, now it should come off. I don't know why they did it like this. This is kind of a harder one than I would expect. All right, so that's finally off of this drive here. And um, I don't think I'll put this on the new one, but let's let's first look. So let's grab the new drive. It's in here. And oop, open it there. And we're gonna slide this back on the same way. It's like that. Put it right there. Around there. There we go. And uh, this one I think it has kind of this material probably for the heat but these SSDs really don't get hot so I don't think I'm going to put this around it. It's an adhesive coat around the outside so we're not going to put this on. I don't think it'll be a problem. So this is all plastic, there's no moving parts, there's nothing that could touch anything else. So we're just going to go with this. Alright, so now that they're all in there, then we should be able to squeeze it back in. Actually, I'm going to take the hard drive out so I can angle it correctly here. Make sure it's in the right slot here. Okay, there. So there I can see that both sides are in. So now I'm going to close this here. Okay, now that it's closed, now I'm going to put the hard drive in. So here. Push both sides. All right. So there, it looks like it's in. And this is on top here. All right, so now I'm gonna put the cover back on. And I will test it before putting all those screws in. So I'll close it here, snap it in. Start from the sides and make sure that it snaps in. You heard one snap there. All right. So all the sides snapped in. So let's turn it around and we'll plug it in and make sure it does something different. We still have to install windows and everything on this. Um, 
but it should give me a message saying that it recognized the hard drive or let me do something with the hard drive. So let's look. So here we're going to turn it on. And there it's booting and I have a hard drive message. Go to diagnostics and hard drive check. And let's do that. Okay, so now I get a smart check that it says it passed testing drive one. So that's good. That means it recognizes the hard drive and that, uh, and now I'll be able to move forward with everything else. So at least that's what that tells me. This is going through the progress of testing the drive. Uh, I could wait and see if this completes quickly or not. Okay, my battery, my GoPro got overheated there, but essentially it finished doing the test and now it says that it passed. So basically now we can turn it off and then just put the screws and then we should be done. Okay, now that we got the screws in there, then we gotta put this rubbery stuff back on. Again, I don't like these guys because now they're gonna be coming off here and there, but we'll see. Put that there, and then this weird one in the middle that just covers a hole right there. feet so then what we'll do is basically I won't have it on this video but I'll download the Windows version from Microsoft site that you can install directly onto a flash drive and then use a flash drive uh, USB stick to install Windows back onto this machine and maybe I'll make a video that that's separate from this one all right Let's see, let's push this one in here. All right, okay, so that should be it. All right, so I hope you liked this video on how to change the hard drive. We went from this Western Digital 500 gig drive to the PNY 500 SSD. Should run faster also, because I went from a 5400 RPM drive to a solid state. So there should be an improvement in speed also during this process. All right, hope this was helpful for someone. Definitely like and subscribe if you like this content and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.